let me just get that oh my word guys look at the size of this one these are my onions guys that have been growing from seeds welcome to the channel my name is marie if you're new here and i'm going to share with you today how i grow onions from seed straight up to harvesting organically i can safely say sometimes i might say the garden i'm not sure if it's entirely organic because if needs be i might i have not used it yet but i might use ants powder don't know if ants powder is organic or not and i don't know exactly what organic organic is but i use manures and i use um kitchen scraps and stuff like that to grow my food so i guess it is considered organic so i'm going to share with you i have been planting onions ever since i started the garden and this have been my most successful crop so i'm going to share with you because whenever i succeed at something guys i believe each and every one of you can succeed at it too and i'm going to share every little bit that i did to get them to look this good and um produce so well now as i said guys i planted all of these from seed and these are the seeds that i used they're called red grano is that grano yes and these we purchased locally i'm not sure if these ones are tailored for warmer climate i really don't know but my husband got these locally to buy at Ilo and I planted. No, I, I can't harvest all of these today because they were planted at different times. Now let me show you exactly how I planted these. It's fairly simple. As I said, guys, it's quite simple. So in these containers, I have regular topsoil mixed with um horse manure and what i i did in here i have maybe two that i'm going to harvest today but i use up every bit of space i have and all i do is use a piece of stick or whatever garden tool you have and then i just make rows in them i'm just using this little section as example usually i do the entire thing and then I sow the seeds. Let me show you what the seeds look like. It's amazing to see the little tiny seeds and then the produce that comes from them. And it goes for almost all seeds. Very rare when you find a seed that is almost big as the fruit. Maybe a mommy or some mangoes. But usually seeds are very tiny compared to what it produces. So these are what the seeds look like. And all I do is just sprinkle them. And sometimes we get good germination rates, sometimes not. If I do, like I did here, I just thin them out and fill in more containers with them. Sometimes onions take a while to germinate. So give it time. But usually within a week, you'd see little seven days, seven to ten days or so. Let me see if this packet says the time frame. Yes, I was right. Germination is seven to ten days. Can you see that? Seven to ten days. So I, I kind of remembered correctly. And then you'd see little tiny, tiny things coming up. And so you know. And usually they look like they won't amount too much until maybe a couple of weeks or three weeks. You see them start fattening up and it's at that point that i fertilize uh, my onions and i'll show you exactly what i use to fertilize these ones i planted these from seeds and i've fed these before with this same rabbit manure and i just keep topping up but guys they're looking just so gorgeous I just can't believe how well they're doing in the heat because it has been hot, guys. 
and I enjoy using this rabbit manure because I don't have to worry about my plants getting burnt. This doesn't burn the plant if they if it come in contact with them at all. So I really enjoy using this. The, the chicken manure we have to have it curing for a very long time. And guys, the rain is coming down again. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to hurry and get out of it so it can rain. Because really and truly, we're happy for the rain. And guys, that's all I fertilize these with. Some chicken manure and some rabbit manure. And as I said, the original soil was mixed with horse manure. So, and I know in a previous video that I did with the onions, one of you asked if it is that you're not able to get animal manure, what else can you use? Compost can also be used, used to, um, especially if it was broken down by worms, because the worm casting and the chicken and the other animal castings are basically similar with um, the nutrients that it provides. So if it is that you have access to compost, if you do your own composting, or if you can get it to purchase, then it is a similar sort of um, fertilizer for your plant. You top dress whenever the plants, about three weeks I fertilized mine, as you saw in the video, and they just literally took off. No, I learned something about onions, and I wanted to share that with you first before I harvest the couple of onions that I'm about to take out. So, what I learned, no, I've been told several things, and guys, as we grow, we learn, and we accept um information and advice but we still have to be able to pick sense out of nonsense so to speak because i was told initially by a farmer that my onions won't because i was saying that for some reason i'm not able to grow nice big onions and he said to me that Chances are I might never get those size onions because onions like the cool and like a lot of water and we don't have that on the rocks. And so I figured I need to water them heavily in order for me to get good size onion. I found out that that is not necessarily the case. And again, I'm not sure if it's because of the type of onions that I planted, but very little water is enough for them and they bulb up really nicely no as you might be aware because my rose is blooming as you might be aware we're just um recovering from a storm um tropical storm Raphael, and so we had a lot of rainfall and these containers were just saturated with water and I got a scare, I came and I harvested this one just so I to just reassure myself that they're not um they've not gone bad. So what I came to realize because I lost two onions and one of you so graciously informed me that the neck of the onions usually they they um grow up above the soil. And you told me, and I also did my research, instead of molding the onions up, you, with the top dressing or the manure, you side dress because they don't like their necks wet. What did I say? Necks? I said right. their necks <laughs> wet. And so I learned that. And that's all oh, two two of my onions i lost them because i had molded them up with the manure not because it was so light of a soil i didn't know that it would have affected the growth i don't think it did but it affected the the onion itself it um the water soaked the neck of the onion and they both spoiled so with that said guys gardening is a trial and failure you win some, you lose some, you listen, you take from it, you make sense of what you're told, 
and you try it for yourself and if it works then yes if it doesn't you just try something else all right so let's just get into the harvest because that's what we're here for we're going to harvest some of these onions and if i remember anything along the way then i'll just inform you all right so let's get some onions how do you know when to harvest your onions all right can let me show you the one that i harvested first so it's when your the neck of your onion is broken and have fallen over it means this is no longer feeding your onion if i was not getting rain i could allow the onions to stay in the soil until they literally dry down more but i'm not going to chances because it is going to be rainy for a couple more days we're just getting some sunlight now and i appreciate that so i'm making use of it so not all of my onions are ready as i said i'll just show you the ones that their necks are literally broken like this one right here and this one right here so the neck of this one is totally broken so i'm just going to pull that one and i'm holding close to the to the onion itself wow what a nice healthy root system this is not one of the bigger but one of the biggest but it is still a very very nice onion i harvested one and used it in my dinner a couple uh maybe a week ago was was bigger than both of these but these are still nice onions guys don't you agree i am just so pleased i'm going to allow them to dry with most of the leaves on but i'm going to use some of the leaves to cook of course here is another one that is broken can you see it right here and i believe this is the biggest one so far so let me just get that oh my word guys look at the size of this one this is amazing this is my dream harvest for onions guys and the same way I was told these wouldn't do well on the rocks. That's the same thing I was told with my garlic. And I believe one day I'll be able to harvest garlic right here in tropical Jamaica. I'm not going to stop trying because I've seen it grown in tropical countries before. If YouTube is not misleading me. And so I'm going to continue to try. Let me get this one. This is a small one, but the neck is broken. So the leaves aren't feeding it anymore. Oh my word. I just can't believe I'm harvesting onions. I'm not sure if there's anything on this one. But the neck is broken. And so I'm going to. This don't seem as though it was going to amount to anything. So this is green onions for me. I'm going to put that straight in the fridge. This one is still nice and firm. Um, let me just see if there are any other ones with broken necks. Yeah, a little one right here. Oh, as I said, some of them small, some big. We're taking both big and small guys. Look at that. Neck broken somewhat. But this one also, guys. Can you see that? So we're taking that one too. And as I said, I'm going to cut off these and use them so none of it is going to waste apart from the little part that i'm going to leave like right here for it to cure a bit but guys all right so those are the ones i'll be taking for today and as you can see i have plenty more so i have one two three four five six seven onions awesome let me just grab the rest of my seeds so i can definitively say i have grown onions from seed successfully in the tropics guys right here in jamaica onions are grown in jamaica but not in i don't know if it in my setting so i am super proud of this guys and i hope you took something away from it so as I said, this is the seed I use and I have some more growing that I purchased here, some green ones. I didn't get good germination, but I have a few little ones coming. The 
regular white onions or green onions they're doing they're doing all right so i'll share with a success or a failure i will share that with you in a future video but this is just to encourage you guys give it a shot if you don't have land space give it a shot in containers just like i did here you plant it from seed around three weeks you start to give it some additional fertilizer water when you can ease up on the water when they're already um almost ready to be harvested like these and then harvest when their necks are broken and let me know it goes guys let me know how it goes guys it's a tongue twister so thank you so much for joining me and thank you for journeying with me on this gardening experience because it is an everyday learning experience from me too and i'm more than happy to share success and failures with you and so yes this one was a success and i'll be harvesting i don't know if i'll do another harvest like this but during my harvest videos i might pull another one or two with you again thank you guys appreciate your support to my members thank you for joining my gardening family over here at farming on the rocks my subscribers thank you for subscribing it's absolutely free for those of you who are watching and have not yet subscribed go ahead and press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post another video please continue to like and leave your comments and always guys share with your friends because if you enjoy or learn from these videos chances are others will too all right i appreciate you guys thank you bye bye awesomeness